And yes, we have a DIY option, but we just realized that it's not good if your flashlight is too bright, too powerful. The thing is that this was the exact thing I was using back in the days in 2016, 2017, but I was working only with the stars late at night with about uh, 100 lumens, so it was very dim and uh, no problem melting anything. But if you go at max power, like you have uh, 1600 lumens on the Olight, right here and it started to melt right away so be careful there must be a better solution for that wait 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 cut 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 that didn't work at all i nearly set everything on fire this way of making diy you know is what i've been using for so long but only late at night with the stars and so i was using a very dim light meaning not too hot so i asked christian to help me with that and he came up with a very neat solution something that is accessible for everyone using only plumbing items works super well that's the diy solution it's quite solid actually if you can get your hand on that kind of things that's going to work perfectly To make your own DIY needle connector, uh, you simply need a one inch inner diameter uh, PVC pipe used for plumbing. You'll need one inch pipe coupler that will match your PVC pipe. And you will need a three quarter inch inner diameter pipe uh, fitting that is also a cap. As you can see, it does not fit onto the one inch pipe because it's way too big but if you take a close look at it the bottom of the cap is the same outer diameter than the pipe so if you use your coupler and you test it it should fit perfectly but if you put it upside down then if you put a nice pressure in it it's snug fit and it stays in place with the needle to make sure that it's also well fitting you strongly suggest that you make a a tape puck at the end which is about the same diameter than the inside of the cap you simply wrap around you can use hockey tape because we're Canadian or you can use electrical tape or any tape you want as long as it's dark and not uh, colored because it could have an impact on the color of your needle it could we didn't test it once all the parts are at your place you need to cut the PVC pipe to a proper length. I use a width of my hand because usually when I slide a flashlight it will be perfect for the clip to be right there and then you'll have your, uh, your needle at the proper place. If you have a, a wider flashlight than a, a small one inch, smaller than a one inch, then those will fit snug into the pipe. Okay, so if you want to assemble it, it's quite simple. First, um, you need to make a hole in there. So if you don't have a press drill, I strongly suggest that you use your coupler, place the cap inside upside down, and just drill through with a hand drill, with a half inch or depending on the diameter of your needle, uh, you need to match your drill bit to the needle size. And then once that is done you simply need to put it upside down fit it in and then it won't move after you've done your tape puck and you have uh, confirmed that it's well sized for the inside you can slide it in from the point of the needle all the way thread it through and then give it a strong pull once this is done, you can simply fit the pipe into the coupler and then you have your needle kit uh, all assembled. Just put in the flashlight and turn it on. Of course, if you don't tape it, you'll see that the flashlight is a bit lower, so this will make your pipe go yellow. You just need to put some tape, it can be electrical tape or black duct tape. We used uh, gaffer tape. To put it over it masks every light leak possible and that's pretty much it
And it's the same thing. The DIY option of these three things is the same. So here we have the needle. This thing on the market on Amazon, it's called an acrylic rod. Okay, and again, I have the, this, I have the link on the description below so you can get this thing. The second one, the flex needle. This is called a fiber optic cable and this one is a five millimeter diameter. That's pretty much the best one uh, I tried for the diameter. You can go smaller, you can go uh, higher, but I, I love the brightness uh, of this one. And this is what I, I used to create all of those images. Um, and then this is very similar to the previous one, but this is just much smaller wire fiber optic and you can create very different style with this. Now, of course, there are many different ways of using that. The biggest challenge was to have something sturdy enough or solid so you don't, you're not afraid to, to break the whole thing. That's a good solution. I'm sure you guys are going to come up with other things. We're gonna put the instruction in written format somewhere. So just look for a link down in the, in the description. And as a final word about this whole project, because we've been working on that for a few weeks now, and I kept pushing it mostly in 360 because this is my current configuration these days. And I really fell for the, the flexible one. There are so many things that can be done with that. This is what I came up with recently. This is not the DIY version. This is the, the one from our store, but it's the same in the end. And I think that by using less of that, it's giving us better shadows, very nice texture on the skin. So this one here is a single image from the 360. And this is a full 360 using the flexible needle. And again, if DIY things, if a drill and a saw is not your thing, we do have these things available on the store with very solid, sturdy options that are going to be compatible with your flashlight, including the one with the dimmer on the side. Why are you so